Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to calculate Cronbox Alpha in Stata. In order to do so we need a data set of course so let's go ahead and pull one up. We'll use uh, AutoMIS. It's one of the built-in data sets in Stata and as you can see it's a data set pertaining to the makes of several cars. Uh, now this isn't necessarily the most intuitive um, I guess data set to run a Cronbox Alpha, but I'm going to go ahead and run it anyway because it's in this Stata documentation. And also, once you understand what's going on here, um, you can use it for your own items in your own um, in your own data set. So let's go ahead and paste in the code. And it's very simple. You just start with the command Alpha, and after that, you list all of the variables for which you want your Cronbox Alpha calculated, and then you just press Enter. And right here, as you can see. This is Cronbox Alpha for these items, 0.2655. Now, Cronbox Alpha is a measure of internal reliability, also called internal consistency, uh, between items in a scale. So here, for example, if we were assuming that price, uh, headroom, uh, length, and so forth, if all of these uh, items measured something similar, some underlying common property to cars, then what we would expect is the Cronbox Alpha here uh, to be quite high. And for your own purposes, you'll find that there are some different recommendations. You'll see 0.65, you'll see 0.7. Um, so it, it really does depend on the authority who's making the recommendation. What you, what you should be aware of is whenever you are um, conducting research that has uh, sort of multiple items, like let's say that you're measuring something different here than the kind of abstract underlying concept of something related to a car, let's say that you're measuring psychological moods of a person, maybe depression. Um, if you're working with a construct of that kind, um, and, and it's within the context of a thesis, you'll often be asked to report a Cronbox Alpha just to demonstrate that the items in a scale um, are somewhat conceptually related to each other. So imagine a scale that has 10 or 15 items that measure depression, and it has a very high Cronbox Alpha, like a maybe 0.9 or something like that you would reach the conclusion that those items are, are quite related to each other. Um, so it's a kind of a measure of scale quality. If you were trying to measure a single construct or a single concept, let's say depression, and your Cronbox Alpha is very low, as it does happen to be here for this example, um, you would conclude that you might not have, uh, either you might not be using the best uh, measure there could be some flaw in the uh, in instrument itself, or you might have a very small sample where answers are all, all over the place or something of that kind. But what you will find is that there's typically a hurdle in the, in theses and in advanced papers where Cronbox Alpha is, is reported. Uh, typically, professors, teachers will, will ask to see something over 0 0.65, 0 0.7. If you don't have it, you'll have to have a good explanation for it. Uh, and what you'll find is that you don't really need to go down the rabbit hole with uh, you know, other sort of more detailed uh, aspects of a Cronbox Alpha, but if you really want to, you should see that the code just really adds on STD item and detail right at the end of the calculation. So when you press enter, what you get this time is, is, is a bunch more results here. Um, so you see all the different items for which you're trying to calculate the alpha. You get the item test correlation, the uh, which means the item and the uh, overall test correlation. Item rest, which is, you know, one item versus the other one's correlation and you have alphas for each item and then you can also get the inter-item correlations a matrix over here for the vast majority of people that's not going to be of interest what you'll just want to know is this code here so just press uh, type in alpha and then enter all the variables for which you want alpha calculated and stata will give it to you I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, 
uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.